We have here a set of miniature traffic lights made only from a few simple components and I'm going to explain just how it works. The chips used to control this system utilize something known as Boolean logic. There are two values in Boolean logic, true or false. In binary this could also be 1 or 0. There are also three basic operators of AND, OR and NOT. We can draw up a truth table to see how two inputs give an output. The AND operator returns true if and only if both A and B are true. So the truth table looks like this. The OR operator returns true if at least one of the inputs is also true. And a NOT operator simply inverses an input. These functions are then combined together to make different chips for different purposes. We'll see a few examples in the traffic light circuit. The traffic lights run off of this simple counting circuit. The section on the right is a clock signal which provides a periodic pulse of high voltage. In the middle is a binary counter which counts these pulses in binary. Then on the left we have four LEDs which give a visual display of the binary number. In this instance it's 0110 or 6 in decimal. This continuously cycles through the numbers as 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. To create the traffic lights, we have to take this circuit and add one more chip to it. This new chip is what is known as a binary to decimal converter. This converter takes the binary input and in sequence outputs each of its pins, which represent the numbers 0 to 9. In our traffic light set, there is only 6 steps in the sequence of colours they light up. This means for the last 4 numbers, none of the lights will light up. We can get around this by taking an output from the 7th pin, running it through a NOT gate and back into the clock, it can act as a reset. This means after counting 6, it goes straight back to 1 and the cycle repeats. And when you combine this with careful arrangement of the LEDs, we end up with this nice traffic light pattern. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Also, follow me on Tumblr and Twitter.